I need to go buy some buff warping eggs if I want to get more. I only have four. How sad. So here are a few tips and tricks that I've learned about breeding chickens that you can follow along with easily, and anyone can do this. Number one, whatever you do, if you want to get straight up that breed of chicken, don't hook up another breed of rooster. So if you say you want to hatch out and are like Easter egg or egg, should hook up the Easter eggers with a buff Warpington rooster. That color that the eggs that, that you'll get, the color of the chicken, I don't want to know what it'll look like. So you, you really want to make sure that the chicken that you're raising is like the straight up breed that you got it from. So if you're going to be hatching out Easter egg roosters, I mean chickens get an Easter egg. So if you want to hatch out Easter egg or chickens, get an Easter egg or rooster. If you want to hatch out black copper marin chicks, then get a black copper marin rooster to do this. And then after this, what you need to now do is you need to now get a week's worth of eggs from that flock. So a week's worth of eggs is, I don't know, like a few eggs. So collect them during a seven or eight day window. And then what you're going to do is then you're going to get your broody chickens and you're going to hook them up with a clutch of eggs. Now a clutch is usually, I believe it's 9 or 11, 7, 9, and 11 eggs I think. Those are usually the ones that you want to do. And isolate them from the other chickens. Isolate them from any distractions. I have, an, I have a set in stone area, but it still needs to be cleared out. So I'm hoping that we're going to do this before my last day of school, which is conveniently a Monday. Now that you've got your eggs, now it's time to get your broody chicken to sit on them. I'd highly recommend putting them in a really isolated area away from other distractions such as, you know, like other chickens, uh, humans, predators possibly, and yeah, you always got to remember that, like, these predators, like, they'll go and they'll attack a broody chicken any day because basically an open target. So you might want to keep them indoors or maybe even create a separate shack for them. It doesn't have to be especially well constructed, just something that they can hold themselves in a little bit and well you know something about broody chickens they sit on the eggs for 23 hours of the day spend about one or two hours outside every day and yeah i need to get good at math but like 22 or 23 hours a day outside that's it it's all they get to have time outside that's that's the only time they get to spend outside with their homies that's it that's all they get instead they're just gonna sit on their eggs all day so y'all gotta remember, having an egg uh, that you're gonna be hatching out, you need, I think I explained this earlier, but y'all need a clutch. Seven, nine, 11 eggs, you know, something like that. And yeah, yeah, you're gonna need that sort of stuff. And well, once you got that all said and done, I believe the survival rate's like, I believe like the hatching rate's like, I don't know, like 40, 50%. And now that your eggs have hatched, now you need to tell them apart. So easy way to do this, wait a week and yeah. That is when you'll notice the development. Roosters develop much quicker and while their wings are gonna be developing a lot quicker than the others. So if you notice extremely long feathers on their wings uh, about a week or two in, that's when you need to like either A, keep the rooster or B, take action against it. This action could be selling them we're doing other stuff to them that I don't need to mention in this video. So that, yeah, my goal is to sell possibly 10 roosters. Because I think we're going to be hatching, what, like 20 eggs we're going to get. A few copper marins and some Easter eggers. Because that's what we want. Because those eggs are a hit. And yeah, that was it for this basic video. So if you did enjoy, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, Sprinkles is no more. And yeah, I, I keep on forgetting to make that video. But I have chosen out a good rock for sprinkles so i might be live streaming that over the course of the next few days so subscribe stay tuned and see you next video